class. Welcome to Rolling Fatties 101. Today, we're gonna to be rolling spring rolls with pork sausages. If you're new here, I'm Kimberly. I'm Mama Fan. AKA CC. Let's get started. This spring roll is gonna be your newest addiction. You're gonna be hooked on all the ingredients from the chewy rice paper exterior to the savory pork sausage. Crunchy pickled veggies, cucumber, lettuce, mint, chives, a fried crispy egg roll wrapper, and Mama Fan and Kimberly's special sauce. The star of the show here is gonna be the nem, which is the pork sausage. You can buy this in most Vietnamese stores and Asian stores in the frozen section. It's easier than making it yourself, although my mom prefers to make it herself. I just don't like spending two to three hours making just an appetizer, so whatever I can do to condense the time. She didn't let me today. <laughs> so placing them on the skewers makes it a little easier to form the sausage. That way you can portion it out to be nice and even. Just roll it out to be the size of your X. I mean, the size of the skewer. I already preheat my oven to 400. Set it at 12 minutes. This is going to be the best sauce you've ever had. She's stupid thick, a little random, but well balanced. We live in Seattle, so typically when you get this dish at a restaurant, it's served with fish sauce or peanut sauce, but we're gonna show you our special sauce that we concocted by ourselves. On medium heat, add oil to a pot, then cook your garlic and shallots until they are golden and fragrant. Then add in your pork and shrimp. Once that is halfway cooked, Add in all of your ingredients besides water and cornstarch. Okay, the meat and the shrimp already cooked. Now we're gonna grind this up. That smells so good. So once you return the ground pork and the ground shrimp into the pot, you're gonna add water. And don't forget to add cornstarch to thicken the sauce at the very end. The best part about these spring rolls are gonna be the crispity, crunchity egg roll wrappers. You can use lupia wraps as well. So we're gonna start off by removing it from the package. They come frozen, so you're gonna to wanna to let them thaw overnight or put them into the microwave for 30 seconds aside. I'm going to cut them in half and then you will separate the sheets. This is a tedious part, so you can prep these like a day before or the night before and then just have them ready for when you want to make these. I like to make them relatively flat. Uh, that way, once they're sitting inside the roll, they don't harden up and you still get that crispiness. So just fold in these two ends and then just roll. And then this is the glue I'm using. It's just a water and cornstarch mixture, equal parts. So you're gonna turn your stove on to medium and then just add some oil. We're just gonna do a shallow fry. The oil is ready. You can tell when it starts to bubble around the chopstick. been 10 minutes. Wow, perfect. Now I'm gonna turn. And I'll have it on broil at 400 for five minutes. Damn, you should call him. So we're just gonna cut them in half so they're a little thinner so we can roll it up. time typically when you get this in Vietnam it's served like a nam nung charcuterie board we like to roll it when we're serving or when we're making it for others so that's what we're gonna do now because we're gonna eat these I would recommend um, making them and eating them the day of otherwise just make them as you're eating them the major key here is not waiting until the wrapper gets too soft because it'll fall apart um, when it's a little hard still you have a little bit more control. All right, so rice paper, warm water. 
So we're gonna let it soften a little bit, but the key is to not let it soften all the way. That way you have a little more control when you're rolling. The greens, a little purple. There's a cucumber, pickled veggies, mint. That gas, this crunchy is essential. The pork sausage, chives. to seal. Really? <laughs> Taste test time! Behold! Mm. It's always good. Always. In my opinion, that's the best spring roll. My what do you too. think? You guys should try it out and let us know what you think of our recipe. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on our channel and send in any requests if you have them. Until, Until next time!